great to be with you today to practice. Thank you so much. Begin by sitting comfortably. You may like to shift your weight from side to side and gradually come to a balance point, feeling centered. Hands could rest on your lap. I wanna offer centering with uh, gaze. So our eyes are just part way open. This is sometimes called open eye meditation and it's a really great um, way of blending your practice with your activity in your life. So your eyes are resting at a point ahead of you and you start to relax your senses and have an internal awareness. As your breath flows, there's this blending of an inner focus with your senses open. In a gentle way, come to a regulated breath. So we have a similar pace for your exhales and your inhales. There is a quality of witnessing that you can be aware of your experience, both uh, your sense input and your own thoughts. Being aware in this sense of witnessing and also having a little space, being able to make a choice, being able to take a little space from what you think or feel. In today's class, this morning I was reading about forgiveness and boundaries <laughs> and seeing how we can make this really brave choice, letting go of past wrongs, even if it's just partial, it doesn't have to be 100%, but just a sense of releasing bitterness, letting go of wrongs and Setting boundaries, I feel, is an important quality to this, that um, it's not just a letting people walk all over you by forgiving, but it's um, taking back your own power to live a full and happy life. And so with this in mind, we'll do poses today focused on uh, healthy boundaries. And if you wanna just take a few more moments to breathe here, having a sense of your own boundaries, what that means for you. Stretch your legs in front of you. So your knees are bent, feet are flat. Moving through a seated cat and cow, start with the cat. So round back, straighten your arms, drop your chin. Pull with your arms and reach your low back forward, your spine upward. Yeah, so just forward and back. You might exhale when you open your front, feel the pressure in your belly. Inhale as you round your back and fill your back body with air. Make it non-linear so you might curve to the sides of this shape, make circles or just explore other parts of the stretch.
Nice. Make your way into the boat pose. Find your core, sandwich your legs together, hover them. We're going to take the boat mermaid's core sequence. <laughs> so your feet are going to come to one side. And then if it works for your knees, you'll stand up on your knees. Yeah. Sit once again to the side of your feet, that mermaid tail, and then flip up into boat. Yeah. So we're just going to go side to side. You mermaid tail your feet. Stand up if it's okay on your knees and then back into boat. If you want to push off with your hand, that's a supportive option or a little more core is to keep your arms floating. So you're just using your leg, hip, ab connection for that movement. Nice. <laughs> so one more round on each side. We're gonna take that into a twist with the mermaid legs. So have your feet off to the right side of your hips, sweep your arms up. You're leaning a little more to your left glute. Yeah, with an exhale, twist to your left. So left hand is behind your hips, right hand is on the left knee. Soften your shoulders wide and open. And it can be a great pose just to practice that witnessing quality with your eyes partway open. Next inhale, sweep your arms overhead, untwist. Exhale, feet forward into the boat and then other side. So this twist is called the hip spiral named after the sage Bharad Vaja. <laughs> so arms high with your exhale twist. Aware of the shape of your spine, this ascending quality. Chest open wide, neck at ease. One more breath in the twist. Great, face forward, inhale, arms up. Exhale once more into the boat. We're gonna take five rounds of full boat into half boat. Half boat is not half as easy. I think it's a little bit harder. So you're gonna hover. So feet and shoulders just an inch off the mat and then exhale to rise up. So you've got four more rounds I'm using your exhale to fuel your strength. Yeah, just three more cycles, half boat to full boat. Leading with your abs more than your neck or chin area. Nice, finish that up. Butterfly, open your knees, feet together. Kind of a soft pose to release all that. You might uh, open your spine side to side or fold forward or a little of both. Rise up, cross your ankles, so sitting cross-legged. Come out into table pose. We're gonna stretch out our feet and our hands. So toes are curled under, you'll sit back, easing into the foot stretch. And it's your choice if you wanna stay sitting on your toes tucked under or not. Right hand forward, like stop in the name of love. <laughs> and then just one finger at a time, you're gonna pull back and feel that stretch all the way through your inner wrist, which is the carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel, you know, we think of it just when things go wrong a lot of the time, but it's where all the tendons of your fingers pass through your inner wrist, yeah. Other hand, once you finish. Just pulling back each finger one at a time. Maybe you get a little insight if there's a looser or tighter part of your hand. Great. As that's finished, rock forward to table. If you want a little more moment to stretch your wrist, go ahead. 
rattlesnake, just tap your feet. Downward dog when you're ready. A deep breath as you lift up. Think about this downward dog, just making a lot of space. And press forward through the knuckle base of each finger, using that to create length in your spine. Yeah. Walk your feet forward, standing forward full, preparing for sun salutations. Next inhale, rise and stand, arms overhead, open heart. Exhale, hands together by your heart. A moment to connect with your breath. And through our sun salutes, we'll have poses that develop our boundaries. <laughs> developing our strength and our boundaries. Deep breath, reach up, open heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, open heart, half lift. Exhale, back to plank, walk yourself back. And we'll take a mountain climber sequence. So one knee to that same elbow and then back into plank. Yeah, so kind of moderate pace. So you're feeling some strength build and just want to offer while your knee is by your elbow, if you'd like to take um, a push up, whew, that can be a fun addition to that cycle. Nice job. Let's do one more on each side, breathing deeply. Nice, lower to your belly, great job. Open your arms wide, cobra with airplane wings. Turn your palms forward, stretch through your fingertips. Check that the curve of your neck matches your spine. Sometimes the neck curves a little too much. So just neck and spine in the same line. Plant hands by your low ribs. Next inhale, open for cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Walk feet forward to front of mat. Full breath here. Exhale completely in Uttanasana. Inhale when you stand, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment in mountain pose, feeling your base. Eyes half open with this witnessing quality. Arms reach out, deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back into plank. Tap knees on the mat and balance with right leg back, left arm forward. Contract abs a little bit so you unsway your back, get really long from toes to fingers. Exhale, hands to mat, and just an option to drop your elbows. Bend your back knee and we're coming into donkey kicks. So tap your right knee on the mat and then keep the bend in the knee as you kick the leg back. And just take note that your low back does not sway to get the leg higher. So we're keeping that neutral low back. Nice. After your knee taps down, now fire hydrant. So knee out to the side, keeping that right angle bend in the knee. Yeah, fueling your breath, nice job. And similarly, the low back is stable. So we're not twisting our navel to the right. So the navel stays straight at the floor.
Nice job. With your right knee out to the side, kick the leg out and plant the sole of the foot. Walk up to your hands if you're not here already and row front to back as you open up your inner leg. And I'll just face to the side so you have a good view of my pose, but you're welcome to stay where you are. We're coming into the gate pose. <laughs> As you rise up, stand on your knee. Yeah, reach arms overhead. Exhale to your extended leg. So we have a moment to consider the image of a gate as it relates to your boundaries what you allow to pass through, what you choose to close the gate for. Nice job. Take left hand to the ground, side plank prep, right arm overhead. Yeah, really feel your right foot into the mat. That'll make a connection through the outer right side body. And if you want to do that little extra core move, maybe you push into the left hand so much that your lower leg can match with your upper leg. Nice. <laughs> Take hands to the mat. Second side, table pose, left leg back, right arm forward as you balance. Core support draws abdominals in, low belly slightly up toward the spine. One more breath, long like an arrow. Plant your hands, option to lower to your elbows. Bend the back knee and we've got that donkey kick shape. So keeping the bend in the left knee and the left leg kicks slowly up and down. And checking in with stability that the low back doesn't sway to get the leg higher. Yeah, you kind of work that boundary of your alignment, keeping core support while you strengthen the back of your hip. After knee taps to mat, open to the side, fire hydrants. Yeah, just little pulses out to the side. Same idea with our alignment that the pelvis faces square to the ground. We're not turning the belly or lifting the left glute. Great job. With your left knee out to the side, extend the leg, plant the sole of the left foot, and then row yourself forward and back. If you were on elbows, just come up to your hands once again. Yeah, rising up for the gate pose. Arms overhead as you stand on that knee. With exhale, side bend over your extended leg. Yeah, rich topic considering boundaries. This aspect of the gate, opening the gate, closing the gate. A moment to let that metaphor work for you. Yeah, sweep right hand down to the mat, side plank preparation. Left arm up in the sky. And really plant your left foot, plant your right hand. And um, if you wanna play with hovering the bottom knee, even just taking partial weight out of that knee is really strengthening. Yeah, just see what kind of core connection is there. No worries if that seems like way too much work, <laughs> no problem. 
Great job. Take your hands to the mat. Walk yourself back. Your choice to take a flow or take a moment in child pose. We've got three breaths, centering, internalizing. From downward dog, stretch your right leg high in the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow in plank pose. Yeah, repeat that cycle, rise up, three-legged. Curl forward with your strength. Yeah, one more round. This time, step the foot forward and create warrior one in your footprints. Yeah, strong bend in the front knee, arms rise up. And get even in both of your legs. A steadfast quality, a guardian quality in your warrior pose. Nice. <laughs> Hands to mat. Our next transition is back into side plank if you want. So come to the tiptoes of your back foot. Left hand stays on the mat. Right foot could match your left foot if you want. Yeah, nice job. Hands to mat, downward dog. Deep breath out, in and out. With inhale, left leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Yeah, and just taking that cycle with a smooth quality because you don't have to think too hard. <laughs> Maybe you can practice some of that witness vision. Step foot down, setting up warrior one. Inhale as you rise. Aware of your breath and your core as you reach through fingertips, through the edges of your feet, the whole body stable. Yeah, that side plank transition, right hand to the mat. Come to the edge of your right foot and maybe left foot can match it. A little trick too, um, left foot can split the difference. If you wanna step the foot halfway down the mat, that can also be great. Nice, hands on the mat. Yogi's choice to flow or chill. Couple breaths, feeling and digesting. Full exhales. Make your way to standing in your own time. For next sequence, you'll wanna face the long side of your mat. So if you wanna grab a drink of water, a moment to come to standing. Step wide and we'll be coming um, into the goddess pose. Toes turn out, bending, bend and straighten your knees, just easing into that. And in this idea of the boundaries, we're gonna salute the four directions. Um, sometimes I think of a mandala because they have four gates, <laughs> one for each direction. So we can think of um, this salute like a protective or a warrior energy around the entrances, letting in what we wish and keeping out what we don't. Start with a bend in your knees, hands together by your heart, full breath in, exhale, press hands forward. Inhale, open wide, palms to side. Exhale, fingertips to forehead, look up. 
Inhale, straight leg, straight arms. Exhale, arms wide as you bend knees. Open the top of your wrist. Yeah, comb fingers as you inhale to your heart. Exhale, press hands forward. Inhale, arms wide. Just sink a little bit into your knees. Exhale, touch forehead, look up. Inhale, legs, arms straight. Exhale, dive down, arms wide, open outer wrist. Comb the fingers and inhale to your heart. Exhale, press hands forward. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, touch forehead, look up. Inhale, straight legs and arms. Exhale, wide to the side. Open outer wrist. Comb the fingers as you bend knees. Inhale to your heart. Exhale, press forward. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, gaze up, touch forehead. Inhale, straighten up, reach, drop the chin. Exhale, arms wide as you comb the air, hands to your heart. Full breath in and out. Twist, hands on thighs. It's okay to shrug your arms to your ears. Sit your tailbone back so your low back gets a little longer. Yeah. And then just twist one shoulder down, one shoulder back. Nice. <laughs> Rise up to center. If it's a lot for your hips to be wide, you can always take a break. And we'll be moving through the sacred star flow. <laughs> wide stance. Feet are parallel. They might turn out a little bit just naturally as you take the cycle. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, right hand down as you side bend. Inhale, left arm wide as you twist. Right arm forward, left back. Exhale, hands to heart, bend right knee. Inhale, shoot up, plant the right foot. Exhale, left arm down, side bend. Inhale, twist to your right, right arm back. Exhale, hands to heart, lunge left knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, twist left. Exhale, hands to heart, lunge right knee. Stay low, rising warrior. Arms overhead as you plant into your right heel. Keep lunging into that knee. So an aspect of low body grounding. Arms lift. Nice job, stand tall, straighten right leg. Exhale to your left. Yeah, inhale, twist right. Exhale, hands to heart, bend left knee. Great chance to practice that even vision. <laughs> this eye is part way open blending your inner focus with your peripheral vision. Nice, as you inhale, arms high, exhale, side bend right. Inhale, open twist left. Exhale, hands to heart, bend into right knee. Inhale, rising warrior, stay in that knee bend. Great job. And take hands around your right foot, rotate toes to the top of your mat. So you're spinning to face the edge. Plant your left hand, step back into side plank. So option to ground your left knee, if this, if this gets pretty challenging at some point. Hover your right leg above your left. So you're making some space. And we're gonna do a super slow motion step into lunge. <laughs> So right knee is going to bend, bringing the right foot forward, stepping to front of mat. 
Yeah, <laughs> adjust your back foot for warrior two. So your left heel comes flat and rise up. Arms wide, lunge into right knee. Set your gaze out over the right fingertips. Breath full. There can be the archer archetype in the warrior two pose. Maybe you take aim, hitting your target, meeting your goal. Next, inhale, straight arm, straight legs. Exhale to triangle. So you're over your right foot. Right leg is more straight. Right arm's gonna prop you up as left arm reaches overhead. Nice job, lunge right knee, inhale, stand tall, both legs straight. Exhale, point toes forward and side bend to your left. Inhale, open twist to the right. Exhale, hands to heart, lunge into left knee. Oh, that's nice at work to get up to the other side. I wasn't totally sure that it was. <laughs> Arms overhead. <laughs> Yeah, drop into the left knee a little bit. Plant weight more into the heel to unload your knee. Take hands to the mat and rotate to the short edge of the mat. Yeah, all 10 toes face short edge of mat, coming for that side plank. So right hand is your base, roll to right side of foot. Remember option to drop the right knee if the sequence gets really hard. Match left foot to the right as you reach up. Raise left foot. Yeah, so really building that strength. Slow motion, we're gonna bend the left knee, really use some core to get that knee close, 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 and step it forward into lunge. Nice, set back foot, warrior two. Rise up. That moment of calm, maybe you take in the horizon, peripheral vision. A moment to breathe deeply and take aim. Consider your boundaries, how that resonates for you. Inhale, straight leg, straight arms up. Exhale, triangle over your left leg. Right arm high. And pour your weight down into the feet. It's a little different than pushing your feet down. <laughs> I find it's a very, uh, it, it uh, facilitates muscle relaxation. Nice work, bend left knee as you rise up, arms high. Exhale, float your arms down, walk hands toward each other, or feet. <laughs> and we just have a couple moments to stand and feel. If you'd like to take the uh, Qigong twist with feet separated a bit, or maybe you prefer to stand still in Tadasana, the mountain pose. Relax around your breath, letting it equalize. You may return to a balanced breath where the length of exhales matches length of inhales. Bend your knees and just have a seat. We're gonna come into the bridge pose. <laughs> so 
another great pose about boundaries and structure. Lower down to your back and plant your feet. Yeah, and bridge giving us a pathway over the water, maybe a safe path. If that has any resonance with you or simply enjoying the pose. Tuck shoulders underneath you. Lately in bridge, I'm aware of bearing weight on the shoulders more than the back of the head or neck. So really keep that upper arm shoulder connection as you lift your hips. Yeah, ground your heels and your forefoot. And we'll take a number of breaths, a longer hold in this bridge. There are wonderful images of um, the Taras or Buddhas being a bridge between suffering and freedom. A bridge to cross over choppy waters, like the song, <laughs> Bridge Over Troubled Water. We'll lower down very slowly to a count of five, just one vertebra at a time, four, Using your abs, three, two, and one. Hands around knees, give them a hug toward your chest. It may feel nice to roll your low back against the mat. Extend left leg, hold hands around your right knee. Press the left foot forward for a moment like you're standing on that leg. Get your uh, hamstring area closer to the mat. When you exhale, curl up, chest toward that thigh. Inhale, lower down. Another curl like that as you exhale, lift up. Inhale, head to mat. Exhale, take your right knee into twist. Right knee across your body. Right arm might reach wide. Some of us like the little adjustment where you lift your left shoulder blade, slide it an inch to the left. And within a twist, there's less room to breathe. So don't worry about the deepest breaths right now. And breathe up and wide, opening space through the top of your ribs. Even your shoulders can open with your breath. Untwist, stretch your right leg up to the sky. So both legs strong, like you're standing on both feet. Lowering slowly to a count of 10, right leg comes down to the mat. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. A brief moment to rest, to feel. Right leg rests, draw the left knee in, the wind reliever on the second side. Press through right footprint like you're standing on that leg. Breathe in, exhale, curl head and shoulders up. Inhale, lower down, exhale, lift. Inhale, head to mat, and exhale, twist. Draw left knee across your body. Right shoulder could lift, slide the right shoulder blade an inch to the right.
And typically we gaze um, toward the left. Always like to offer a rotation if you wanna roll your neck to help it release. Aware of that equal vision, the witnessing vision. Release, extend left leg up to the sky. Both feet activate like you're standing on them. And that slow descent, the count of 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend both knees, plant your feet. Cross right ankle on the left knee for the figure four. Hands come around the back of the left thigh. And just a few variations if you'd like to try. Left leg may straighten. There can be a little core climb where you <laughs> lift your upper body and just climb your hands as high as they go up the left leg. And then maybe there's a chance to melt your chest, melt your shoulders down. And find a comfortable degree of stretch. You'll be rising up to sit. Bring legs toward the ground, curl your upper body up. Yeah. <laughs> and it's up to you if you'd like to keep that figure four shape or we can just set the foot on the floor inside of your left thigh. Inhale, reach arms. Exhale, fold over left leg. At this time, we'll be deeply softening. So just letting your back relax. Sometimes a bend in left knee will help the stretch focus more on your back. Straight leg will focus stretch more on hamstrings. Lift your head, sit tall, bend both knees, plant your feet, and then roll to your back. Left leg for figure four. Hold hands around the back of your right thigh and the right leg could extend upward if you wish. And left knee may move. You might fan the knee forward away from the left shoulder an inch or two just to Get a little more into that hip. Core climb up your right leg if you want. Shoulders and head up. A little crunch in your abs as you climb up that leg. And maybe shoulders soften down. Balance your body weight for that sitting position. So right legs down to the mat, upper body can curl up. Yep, and then we're folding forward. Either keep the figure four shape or bring the 
left ankle down to the mat. Get long with your spine and then fold forward, drape your spine over that leg. In this softer part of the practice, I'm thinking about safety and how um, being clear with your boundaries can help for a sense of safety, for deep rejuvenation and rest. Safe to let go of your defenses and safe to deeply relax. Rise up, stretch both legs forward. Couple options, um, reverse table or reverse plank. Hands are gonna come behind you a few inches. Um, for table, you wanna bend the knees, lift your hips. Reverse plank, I find is sometimes a little more load on the pose. So we have a straight leg. You're gonna point your feet kind of like um, mermaid fins. <laughs> Yeah, really get the front of your foot to the mat. Yeah, so just a moment to experiment either one of those shapes to open your shoulders. Lower the hips, Paschimottanasana, west side stretch. Reach arms up, lead with the low back moving forward, fold over your legs and release. And just little movements, spine side to side or head side to side. Let the shoulders melt around you like heavy fruit on the vine. I'll leave it up to you when this pose is done. The next transition is just to lie in Shavasana. So you'll get comfortable. If you wanna grab a pillow or an eye cover, that can be great. It can be a great moment to consider the safety and protection that comes from your boundaries and how they allow you to find safety and rest in this moment. Relax your senses, relax the inner ear, relax the muscles around your eyes. behind your eyes, soften the connection between eyes and brain. And just a gentle awareness as you trace from your brain down your brainstem, through your spine. And just feeling like a wave of release as your body relaxes, the neck, the shoulders, the rib cage, the internal organs relax. Back muscles release. Down arms and hands softening.
Move through the abdomen and pelvis. Deep sense of release. The thigh muscles, knees relax all the way through your calves, your ankles, the soles of the feet and the toes. Become aware of your body resting. If you'd like to remain longer, it's always welcome to rest longer. If you need to move through the rest of your day, just wake up hands, wake up feet, rock your head side to side. Stretch your arms, stretch your face a bit as well. Eyebrows, cheeks, jaw, tongue. Just slowly sit up, bend your knees and roll on your side. Come up slowly, have a seat. With the last two minutes of our time, we'll practice the witnessing meditation. Sit tall, relax your arms on your lap. Eyes just part way open as you practice observing your breath, allowing it to be as it is and just being the witness. Aware of your sense input, what you see or hear, and then just that ability to witness or step back a bit. And this half-open eye, this gaze can be a great way of mixing the meditative state into your daily activities. So just like you stir cream into coffee so it blends all the way, just take a moment to blend these together. This 
inner knowing, this inner peace with your ability to take action in the world. It's been wonderful to practice with you today. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste.